hello, the girls aren't the girls in the ad massage. Oh, yes, the girls are absolutely the girls in the ad. Freeze, police! What's going on? You're all under arrest. Arrest? For what? This place is a brothel. What does that mean? Your co-workers are engaged in the world's oldest profession. Lead singer of the Pretenders? No, Peter, all these women are prostitutes. Cuff them, cop with a wife who's taller than him. Uh, my name's Gary. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names, but I'm good at remembering gigantic wives. Joe, you gotta help me. My picture's in the paper and everything. Well, everybody knew that Bob Iger thing, but you gotta help me, Joe. No way. You should have thought of that before you committed a victimless crime between consenting adults in a commercial arrangement, which also created jobs and contributed tax dollars to the community. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go watch Bob Iger drain threes at the local gym. We've gotta think of something to make Joe drop the charges. I don't know. He seemed pretty insistent. Trust me, Joe can be pretty easily influenced. I get no doubt. Oh, no! Yeah! Joe's police rounds bring him down this street. So the plan is, we trick him into coming in and getting an erotic massage. Then we blackmail him into dropping Peter's charges. Right. And if someone makes a joke about my weight, I laugh good-naturedly and then go home and eat my feelings. Oh, okay, that, that's part of the plan you keep on the inside. Yeah, next to the pizza you had for breakfast. <laughs> Here comes Joe. Places! La 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 la. Unsuspecting song. Huh. Miracle leg massage. Walk again, Joe. I don't know. What's the name of this place, anyway? Flip Joke Massage Parlor. Well, tempted as I may be, there is no way I'm going in there for a massage. <laughs> Ma'am, I assume you're giving me a great massage, but that's where it stops. I'll be a monkey's uncle before I accept a sexual favor. <laughs> yeah, and that's the story of how your mother, my sister, got into college. Oh, Barnaby Bananas, you're certainly my smartest nephew, but Harvard is only for humans. No monkey will ever graduate from there. Barnaby Bananas. I tell you, Janine, I sure feel dumb for what I said earlier. Congratulations, Janine. Also, Joe, we got pictures of you getting a sexual favor a while back, so now you gotta drop the charges. This'll never stick, Peter. I know a top-notch Harvard-trained lawyer. <laughs> An M.A. in urban planning? That's no help. All right, Peter, you win. Really? Yep, I'm gonna drop all the charges. And now maybe you could drop a few LBs, huh? <laughs>